In this video, I'll show you how to download and install the Bluff.com Power Tools application, which allows you to store your hands in your personal database immediately after they're played. First, go to the Bluff.com website and click the download link in the nav bar. Save the installer to disk and run it. And walk through the install wizard. This is pretty standard, like any other application that you've installed in the past. We'll ask you to install, accept the terms of use agreement, choose a target folder, and finally click finish to run the application. This will bring up the standard Power Tools window. You can click preferences to enter your bluff.com account credentials and get logged in. Then you just need to add the hand history folders. You can do this manually, like I'm doing now. Or you can click the auto discover button and it will search the default hand history folder, folder locations for each of the poker sites that you use. Then you can minimize the application. You can see it lives down here in the system tray. I can bring this back up at any time by double clicking. And this is also where I would exit the application. Then you just need to bring up your poker client of choice. I'm playing on poker stars and then sit at a table and play some poker. Now the main purpose of Power Tools is to store your hands in your database on the website, but it also provides you with some real-time statistics during your session. As I play, you'll see that my time played and my net one statistics, along with my total hands played, these all get updated in near real time while I play. Let's go ahead and play a hand, and then we'll demonstrate how you can use the replay on the website to, re to replay this hand. Now, during the session, you can click on the hands from the hands tab and bring the hand up in the replayer. One of the features of the replayer is it calculates the hand odds for Hold'em. Now, I can do this without being logged in because my defaults are set to make all of my hands uploaded to be public. You can change this 
for your account from your account settings. But I like mine to be public so that my friends can watch what I'm up to. So that's it for Power Tools. We hope you enjoy using the application as much as we enjoy developing it.